In this video, I'm going to show you how to take the audio playback from iTunes, which is our computer output, run it through some of the AFX plugins so we can start auditioning some of the compressors and EQs. We know that on the audio MIDI setup, we selected the Centaur, and for output, we configure that to be three and four. So that's coming here on these channels. These are virtual channels. When I select three and four, I can see that they are assigned to AFX 11 and 12. So let's go to the effects rack, group 11 and 12, and we should see the signal here. So we'll go to iTunes, hit play, and start messing around with some plugins. So as you can see, this is a very efficient and fun way to learn the AFX plugins, the processors, and the tools without having to open up your DAW. Let's go ahead and stop the music. And let's recap. So from the routing tab, we selected Thunderbolt Playback 3 and 4. We routed them to AFX channels 11 and 12, which are these. So the key thing to keep in mind is that when you select a channel, like let's take our turntables again, the software will show you and highlight the channels that that's assigned to. If it's assigned to the mixer, that means that you can go in here and create your own balance and monitor that. If it's assigned to TB record or USB record, if that's what you're using for your connection, that means that you can route that channel to your DAW and record it. 